I saw these on eBay and I just added them to an order, as I do. These are, if you, well, if you want to find them, just type in magnetic USB lights because that's what they are. They, they've got a magnet in the back and they come with uh, the double-sided foam pads and a metal washer so that you can stick them, the washer onto uh, a surface that's uh, non-magnetic or you could stick them onto a metal surface, obviously, and a steel surface and it just lets you stick them on uh, in a convenient position. And the small version, which uh, draws about 330 milliamps, which gives a power rating uh, of roughly 1.6 watts, uh, it's just got a simple on-off. Just click on, click off. The bigger one, though, which doesn't really cost that much more, has a bit more sophisticated functionality. I didn't actually realise it had this until, uh, until I discovered it when I clicked the button. And it starts off at a slightly excessive 900 milliamps, uh, which is about 4.5 watts. And then you click the button, it goes off, and you click it, it comes on at a lower setting, it comes on about 200 milliamps, which is 1 watt. Click it again, it goes up to 400 milliamps, which is about 2 watts, and then the full output of 900 milliamps, at four, uh, which is for the 4.5 watts, roughly. And I have to say, I wouldn't recommend using it at the full output, because if I, I just left this sitting... Um, on my workbench, I was doing other things, came back through to see what temperature it got up to, used the thermal imaging camera, well, I didn't actually need to use the thermal imaging camera, I just picked it up and then had to put it down immediately. It was too hot to hold, it was red hot. Well, maybe not red hot, maybe that's an exaggeration, but uh, it was over 60 degrees centigrade, which is too hot to hold. That's actually too hot for LEDs. But anyway, let's uh, open them up and take a look inside. So I'm guessing I can just sputter these open. Don't, don't think that I don't think they screw. Well, okay. So what do we have? We have eight LEDs and eight matching resistors here. The resistor values are twelve ohms. Okay. I like the big screw in the middle. That's a. I wonder if there's heat sink compound behind that. No, there's not. I don't know if it really needs it though. It's such a strong weight. I suppose it would benefit from it though, particularly at full power. It doesn't store its um, <coughs> intensity setting. If you set it to say off or a medium setting, and then you unplug it and plug it in again, it just comes on straight at full output. So that's a, it's quite a neat assembly inside. Let's open the little one. Oop, it's uh, found one of its magnets, its magnetic plates. Very similar arrangement. It's got, it is an almost identical arrangement with the eight LEDs. Uh, available in a cold white or warm white, incidentally. And this time, it's got 43 ohm resistors. And I'm guessing that once again, it's not going to have the thermal compound. No, I, th I think that would benefit slightly from that. But having said that, there's not, there's not a huge area for the heat to get dissipated into. I don't know how much would really get... You know, if you stuck it on a metal surface, the magnet, I don't know how much would really, uh, that would really improve the thermal dissipation. Uh, this little one, though, uh, only gets up to about 30 degrees um, Celsius centigrade, whichever you want. Uh, but uh, let's uh, take a look in this uh, switch. If I can open this, let's uh, try the spudger into it and see if I can pop it open. I'm guessing there's not going to be a huge amount in here. Could be wrong. That's assuming I can actually open it, which I'm not ex really getting in here. Oh, wait, no, there we go, there we go. It's going to be a, a little microcontroller, probably. Probably one of the little 8-pin microcontrollers, maybe. Or is it going to be a dedicated chip? It's a little dedicated, well, it's a little 8-pin microcontroller and a transistor. 
Um, the transistor will be doing the switching, the buffering. The transistor says A2SHB, by the look of it. I take it that is the, the, the side that's going out. That's, uh, I've not actually, these are so new, I've not even untangled, you know, and fastened the cables yet. Yeah, it's the output that says the output to that has the transistor on it. The chip is almost certainly going to be one of these anonymous little chips, isn't it? Yeah, it's an anonymous chip. And yeah. Not really much in the way of support circuitry, a few resistors. I actually come to think of it, there's more than I was expecting. I, I would expect a smoothing capacitor, just a, a decoupling a filter capacitor across the chip. A resistor to the transistor, which there is there. Um, and a pull-up resistor. But there's a few other resistors, I wonder what they're for. I'm not really sure. And quite a ferocious clicky button. Quite a big one, actually. I, was ex I, I would have thought they'd just used a much smaller button since it doesn't really have to deal with the current. Uh, ultimately, the chip's going to pulse and modulate that transistor. But yeah, it's interesting enough. But as I say, uh, the heat off this one was surprising, a, a bit disturbing, actually. Um, but other, other than that, you know, um, yeah, I suppose... If you're using this, these with USB power banks, uh, the, at the full setting, it certainly drained one of my other power banks very quickly, and that's while it was getting very hot in the process. Uh, so I'd, it's a bit strange that it comes on at full intensity. I would have thought maybe it would have been good if it just came on when plugged in at just the lowest intensity or off, uh, or even the last intensity you set it at, but uh, it just comes on at full, and that really does get hot. Um, so ultimately... Um, they're, they're very bright, they really are good sources of light, they're surprising. Uh, the, these aren't too, they're fairly, not opaque, but they're, they're quite strongly translucent, so they probably attenuate quite a modest amount of the light, but they diffuse it well. Um, so, uh, of the two of them, I have to say, I think I prefer the small one. Um, just because it's simpler, it's just a click on, click off, and it's, it, it doesn't reach the temperature this one does. But having said that, this one is quite impressive for the amount of light. I mean, it was lighting all the walls in the room when I had it on uh, a, a silk test while it was heating up, quite literally heating up. Uh, but yeah, it, they're interesting. But as I say, I think I prefer the smaller one. Not that there's much price difference between them, but um, it's, just, uh, it's just simpler. Uh, less to go wrong really I suppose and it, it doesn't have that thermal issue that the big one has but, uh, but they're interesting, they're quite neat they're, they're nice packaging, it's, uh, it's a nice enough little light